Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here. And in today's power move, we're gonna talk about customizing the workflow to mirror entities in a sketch. So you normally, when you go to mirror entities in a sketch, you would click this command here. You would choose the entities to mirror. You come over here to this box. You would choose to mirror about this center line. And then you'd go up here and hit the green check mark. But what I prefer to do is just window select those entities and then choose mirror entities from the context toolbar. And in today's power move, I'm gonna show you how to set up this excellent time saving tool. Ow. So believe it or not, I don't really do that much to customize my SolidWorks setup. I don't really go through and customize too many toolbars or create too many keyboard shortcuts. Instead, I try to really leverage the functionality that's already there in SolidWorks. For example, when I show you guys shortcuts like the end condition shortcuts to double click on a face to terminate your extrusion depth, you know, that's something that's just kind of built into the software. That's not a, a custom script that I've written or anything like that. But there are a few key locations that I do customize. And one of those is what's called the context toolbar in sketch mode. And the context toolbar shows up automatically when you click on one or more entities. And in the case of the mirror entities command, I would love for this command to just kind of show up automatically because I know that if I pre-select a center line and several solid lines, and then I choose the mirror entities command, SolidWorks automatically creates a mirror of that geometry about that center line. So why not just include that right in the context bar? So when I do the window select, the mirror entities command just shows up. And that's exactly what we're gonna do here today. So I'm just gonna start out by windowing some geometry, in this case, a center line and some solid geometry. Then when this menu here shows up on the screen automatically, I'm gonna do a right mouse button, choose customize. Then from here, I can customize the context toolbar by going into this menu of uh, categories, going down to sketch, and then choosing the mirror entities command, dragging and dropping. And so now, anytime I multi-select a group of entities in sketch mode, the context bar shows up, the mirror entities command is right there waiting for me, and I can click on that command and boom, there is my mirror geometry. And so I think that's a really helpful shortcut, definitely one of the few things I do customize in SolidWorks. And if you think this is gonna save you time as well, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and be sure to let me know down in the comments what you thought about today's power move.